COPAFS, my organization, represents over 300,000 individual researchers, educators, public health professionals, civic groups, and businesses that rely on the quality and accessibility of statistics that can only effectively be collected by the federal government. A third major sponsor is the American Statistical Association, which is the world's largest statistical community, with 19,000 members serving in industry, government, and academia in more than 90 countries, advancing research and promoting sound statistical practice to inform public policy and improve human welfare. Also sponsoring is the Association of Academic Survey Research Organizations, the Association of Public Data Users, the Consortium of Social Science Associations, and the National Association for Business Economics. Let me give you a really quick overview of the market we'll be considering today. And it is a substantial market. The value of production of fruits, tree nuts, and commercial vegetables in the United States is $38 billion. We export about 10 billion of that, while we also import about 16 billion worth of fruits and vegetables from other countries. Hefty imports provide year-round supply of seasonal fruits and vegetables and contribute tropical plants to our diets. The retail market for fruits and vegetables is highly differentiated. Well, I mean, there are lots and lots of them, and it's dynamic. While per capita demand for fruits and veggies in the U.S. has grown by over 20% since the 1990s, as a country, we are still eating less than nutrition uh, guidelines recommend. We are lucky to have a truly expert panel today. Gary Lucher with World Agricultural Economic and Environmental Services was for 25 years the USDA's primary contact for vegetable, melon, and pulse crop analysis. Matt Saloy, Chief Economist and Director of Economic and Market Research for the De Florida Department of Citrus, oversees the collection, analysis, and reporting of economic findings on one of Florida's largest industries. George Hoffman is President and CEO of Restaurant Services, Inc., an independent purchasing and supply chain management cooperative that purchases the products and services necessary to operate all the Burger King restaurants in the US, home of the Whopper. There will be a question and answer opportunity after all three panelists have presented. But you can submit questions at any time during the presentations. Open the question box on the, box on the right hand side of your slide and type in a question anytime you wish. This slide deck includes a list of references on data for agricultural and food markets and applied research. It will be available to you as a reference. This concludes my introduction, and Gary Lucher is the first presenter. <laughs>